Hello everyone, I hope all is well. I want to talk about what's happening as it relates to content development and deployment. I am seeing a trend that is really fascinating, but I'm seeing a trend that I'm looking at and I'm saying to myself, we need to really pay attention to this because this has implication for the future as it relates to content. Open AI created sorrow and this has implication for the future. It can create videos using text, of course. And this will have impact on our future. Yes, this is actually what has been created. A monstrosity using text. And this will change the way we learn and plan. No, the images are realistic. It is hard for me to cipher. And I want to see that people will have problems deciphering these images if they are real or not. I think it might be impossible. But having said this, we have not regulated these forms of production as it relates to content. And this worries me. It's troubling. It's troubling that United States have not addressed this because it has implications. 2016, we saw the emergence of fake media coming in with the elections in the United States. We saw the possibilities when there was a release using two world leaders' faces and using their voices to say something about the U.S. election. Some people at that point in time believe that it was authentic. Now we are in a situation that it's going to be very difficult to tell if this is real or not. Now, having said this, the images are wonderful. Having this form of technology in the wrong hands can be problematic. And I know that. Someone could decide to do a fake media on me and produce content that I don't want to produce or I'm totally against. These things need to be addressed early. And I think as educators and, of course, designers, we need to be cognizant of this. Yes, they're powerful. When we think about AI ethics, we have to think about the humanity. We cannot demise one sector at the expense of others. We have to understand the concept of human dignity. And therefore, as we move forward, there's going to be a shift in how things are done, how content is created. And higher education, they're still at a point in many situations thinking about assessment. This release shows you that assessment, yes, it's important, but there are greater things coming and we need to move at a rapid pace. I've said it so many times. Others have listened. Others remain consistently in their paradigm. I want to see what OpenAI has released and shown the world is more powerful than, of course, runway that I saw. It goes back to the point that I've mentioned all the time in my research and my conversations with people across the globe, that language is power. Language has created history, it has created our culture, it's created our educational system, it has created everything, and now we can now operationalize language in such a way that we can talk and have things being created. That's the power of language. And remember, language can be oppressive, yeah? Language can be oppressive. And that is why I'm concerned because when we see these things being created, they're created by language. Yes, whether it be computer language or whatever language is being used to create it. Yes. And we need those creations. We have language that sometimes will be oppressive. And that is where we have discriminatory algorithms. So as they are creating these things, they have not stopped to think about yeah, who are we excluding? Who are we including? And that sort of thing. So as we look at these wonderful developments, let's think critically. Because listen, there's algorithmic bias that exists. And I've touched on that many times. And I'll continue to advocate for that. But notwithstanding, this is a powerful tool that will revolutionize the way we think about content development. You can create a lesson now using a language model to create your objectives and your complete lesson. And now you can do the instructional design part by creating images in various sector. Or if you wanted a video to be created on the content that you wrote, it's all possible. No, you see what I'm getting at? I won't say anything else. Just think about what I just said in implications if you're in academia regarding your status. Remember, language is powerful. Now you can use language to create anything you want in an artificial world. But we still need to have the reality of the human presence. That's all for now.